This is the village of Chawar in Senegal, where one World War I veteran lived out his final years. But today, all that remains of Abdullah Ndaye are photographs and war stories handed down to his grandson. He left for the front in 1914. He would talk about his journey from Dakar, where they received very basic military training in the camp. Ndaye was one of 200,000 Senegalese troops who fought in the First World War. Not all of them went to the front willingly. France stripped some of the men of their land if they refused to enlist. Ndaye was just 20 years old when he was sent to the battles of Somme and Verdun. After the war, he returned to Senegal with a pension and a French railway pass that he would never use. In 1998, the day before he was to be presented the Legion of Honour, he passed away. He was 104. All that he earned, he shared. That's why he did not leave much behind. When he received his pension allowance, he would share it with others the very same morning. Ndaye was awarded the medal after his death. He always wanted France to do something for his village, but that didn't come until long after colonial rule had ended. In 2002, the French government built this road in Ndaye's memory. Residents hope the French government will use the commemoration of the so-called Great War to acknowledge the sacrifices of men like Ndaye, who fought for a country that was not their own. Caitlin McGee, TRT World.